and whistle at Look night. Look at the bee poet here. Yeah, you really should move away from the I'd bridge. rather be a good photographer. Where the track changes. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Most people are afraid to put their shit out there. Mostly due to rejection. Perfect. Ah! a superhero. Move! Get me out of here, Max! Something. Shit! I can't budget at all! Come on, Max! I can definitely use this bad boy. Do it just before I take the crowbar. Just to leave it more time. Come on, Max! Ah, score! Wait, get me out of here! Perhaps. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Just display space. Now I can finally move the drum. Get me out of here, Max! Max, please! I have to help lift Chloe up. Max, get me out of here! I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. No. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Until you get stuck into another train track. There be a storm brewing. As we've seen in multiple flashbacks. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. 
Sorry to be so boring. <laughs> Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Mm. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You've saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, what do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Hmm. They teach you kids anything at Blackwell. We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Now all we need is Rachel. And some way to prevent the storm. Which is impossible unless you want to do the stupid Sharknado thing and drop bombs into it. Which I am saying now. Actually, that might technically work. But I highly fucking doubt it. It's just like. Frequently, your plan is to drop bombs into a tornado. Can't believe I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so. I can do some wondering. Oh, hello, Mr. Principal. Done jack shit as usual. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Sir? Oh. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. Sir? Oh. oh. Yes? I can't... Please don't say. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Mac? Probably not. It's very... What a douche. Join us, or die. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Do? I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Okay, let's, let's, let's play the music. Hey, Courtney. Bitch. Ciao, Max. No. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. 
Was that really your reefer? No. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. <laughs> think, big brain, think. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer, perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Hmm. Well, they're both going to explode, so... I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Probably won't work. It's more reactive. Weird science. Okay. Yeah, I kind of knew that would happen. Hey, Warren. Ha Asking. Have that. Lots of. <laughs> I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Okay. She blinded me with science. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Just making your daily out. rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Hmm. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. My nature. Apparently it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help, anyway. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. 
Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I'm not sure why you would add either, though, because they're exactly the same thing, just on different levels. Hey, Warren. Asking... Have that either... Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he... Howdy, bro. Hi, Matt. How... You already... I borrowed... I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody does. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know. So what can I do for you?